Hi, I'm David Baxter. I'm Amy Hawkins. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week we're at the Cabarrus County Senior Center here in Concord looking at the Intergenerational Art Show. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really cool. Got a lot of information about that, a lot of other information, uh, especially some of the holiday stuff that's coming yes. up. So grab that pen and paper. You can jot that <laughs> info down. Or if you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. Well, we are at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord where they have the Sweet Arts Intergenerational Art Show. And the entire Senior Center, you can just walk through the halls through, and see yeah. art walk, artwork all throughout the halls. But it's just amazing to see all the ways that creativity is expressed um, through artwork. And also right here in Cabarrus County in this intergenerational art show um, is a wonderful way to see all the really just fantastic artists that we have here oh, wow. from all ages, from elementary school age all the way up to 100 years plus, um, all showcasing their artwork together. Very special um, art exhibition that's just showcasing the work of all of our local artists. Now, intergenerational art shows like this one um, are great because they bring a variety of inspiration that comes through each piece, and whether it's through the, aisle, the eyes of a child or the skilled hand of a master. They all complement each other beautifully and it really is just great to see the That's diversity beautiful. of artwork. Um, so here at the exhibition you can just really browse through, see lots of artwork from heritage, visual and literary art. Um, there's some awesome pottery, photography, mm. um, paintings. Um, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Um, it's just, it's beautiful here. So if you're interested in visiting the Sweet Arts Intergenerational Art Show, um, you can come to the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord. That's at 331 Corbin Avenue in Concord. Um, you can stop by November 10th or November 12th. Also, November 15th through the 18th from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. each day. Now, there also will be a special reception for the artist on Thursday, November the 18th at 6.30 p.m. Admission is free. For more information about the art show or other things going on at the Cabarrus County Senior Center, just call 704-920-3484 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash aging. One of my favorite is this collage of Gone with the Wind. Oh, yeah. It's really, really neat. cool. Got to sure. check that out. Now, on Veterans Day this Thursday, November the 11th at 11 a.m., retired Colonel Quincy Collins is going to speak in honor of those who have served our country at a special Veterans Day program that's coordinated by the Cabarrus County Veterans Service Office. Now, the event's open to veterans and the general public and will take place at the Cabarrus Boys and Girls Club, and that's at 247 Spring Street in Concord. For more information, you can just call the Cabarrus County Veterans Service Office, and that's at 704 920-2869. Now also, the American Legion Post 523 is holding a Veterans Day service in Harrisburg, and that's at 3 p.m. on Thursday, November the 11th. That's at Veterans Park, which is right on the backside of the Harrisburg Town Hall. Bring a long chair if you'd like to, to, to have a seat, and for more information, just visit their website, which is post523.com. Well, if you're looking for a place to hang out with your friends and have fun just with your friends and family, really cool opportunity at the Canapolis Branch of Cabarrus County Public Library. They are hosting um, National Gaming Day event. Um, That's great. So you can come read, learn, and play um, at the Canapolis Branch Cabarrus County Public Library. That's on Saturday, November the 13th. Um, all day long program. There's going to be special gaming programs and events throughout the day to celebrate the popularity and educational value of video and board games. So you can have fun and bond over maybe some of those games that you played as a child like Monopoly or Life, uh, oh, Trivial yeah. Pursuit, and so many more. There's even going to be a Wii bowling tournament, which is oh, going to be tons of great. fun. Um, if you have your own favorite game, feel free to bring it and share it with others. The festivities will begin at 11 a.m. and last all day long. You can even bring lunch for your family to enjoy while you're at the day-long event. For more information, just contact the Canapa Branch Library at 704-920-1180 or visit cabarruskind.us slash library. Well, when I was in college, risk. That was ah. the game. Because, I don't know, I have this thing about conquering the world. Mm. So it was, it was always fun. <laughs> okay. Now, do you uh, enjoy watching the Antique Road Show? Do you have uh, any antiques that are 100 years old or older? Or maybe you have some vintage collectibles that are 25 to 99 years old. Hey, I'd fit in that category. <laughs> okay. 
Now, if you'd like to donate them or start collecting dust in the corner uh, or taking up space in your home, then uh, just... You do qualify. <laughs> I do qualify. That's right. A uh, fundraiser benefiting the Old Courthouse Theater and local friends of the library groups are here to help. Now, they're accepting items ranging from small enough to hold in your hand to large pieces of furniture for your antique and collectible auction and appraisal fair. Now, the two-day event begins on November the 12th from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m., and community members can receive an appraisal on your items for a $5 donation. Or you can just, just come on in and view the uh, auction items. Now the event continues on Saturday, November the 13th, and you can receive appraisals for a $5 donation and view items from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Again, and from 4 to 6, participants can enjoy some great food and wine, uh, leading to the auction hosted by auctioneer Nancy Brewer at 6 p.m. For more information, just visit uh, the website, oldcourthousetheater.org, or call 704-788-2405, or just email info at oldcourthousetheater.org. And maybe you'll see me standing in the corner. No, I was just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Piano Fiddle is coming to the Davis Theater on Friday, November the 12th at 8 p.m., um, beginning only with a familiar tune violinist and fiddler Adam DeGroff and pianist Randy Morris will improvise as they go, blending the traditional, the unwritten, and the spontaneous in compelling performances that range from Bach to bluegrass. Now, tickets <laughs> for the show. <laughs> it is. I mean, it's, it sounds like so much fun. <laughs> well, uh, tickets for the show are $35. For more information or to buy tickets, um, call the Cubaris Arts Council at 704-920-2753 or visit their website at cabarrisartscouncil.org. The Davis Theater is located within the Cabarrus Arts Council at 65 Union Street South in Concord, and that's in the historic courthouse. I tell you what, if you're ready this weekend to kind of see some big trucks mm. jumping on things, loud, lots of noise, oh, you got to go to the arena because the bigger is better because the extreme monster truck and motorcycle thrill show is taking over the Cabarrus Arena this weekend on Saturday, November the 13th. Two shows, 1.30 and 7.30 p.m. It's an action-packed family fun event that features world record holders, amazing monster trucks, and uh, all kinds of action. I can't mm. wait, okay? And incredible motorcycle stunts. I don't, I don't be doing that because I had a bad experience there. Okay, but you can come early for the pit party and get monster truck rides, novelties, and great food. Advance tickets are only $20 for adults, $15 for children, and day of event tickets are $25 for adults, $20 for children. Parking is $5 at the entrance. For more information, just go to cabarrusarena.com. Have like, some fun. It'll be a lot of fun. High energy. Well, the Old Courthouse Theater's Living Room Reading Series continues with the presentation of Over the River and Through the Woods. That's going to be on Sunday, November the 14th from 4 until 6 p.m. at the Black Box Theater at uh, 49 Spring Street in Concord. The cost for admission is free. The story is about a single Italian-American guy from New Jersey who seeks to leave his heavily attached extended family to take a dream job. Will his family's schemes to keep him in Jersey work? You'll have to find out um, through this hilarious family comedy. For more information, you can visit oldcourthousetheater.org. Call them at 704-788-2405 or email info at oldcourthousetheater.org. Now, if you ever wanted to like start composting but were afraid, no, no, that's not right. <laughs> if you were just a, afraid to begin, that's where you didn't want to, because there's nothing dangerous about it. Okay. Cabarrus County is providing a free class that will give you the tools and the tips you need to make a great start. Now, Cabarrus County uh, Waste Reduction is offering two compost classes. That's on Tuesday, November the 16th from 6 to 8 p.m. and on Saturday, November the 20th from 2 to 4 p.m. at the Cabarrus County Household Hazardous Waste Facility. And that's 246 General Services Drive. It's right off Highway 49 in Concord. Now these backyard composting classes will help you um, manage yard waste and kitchen scraps, saving time, energy, and it also will teach you how to keep those order, odors and the animals at bay in order to build that healthier soil in the yards and your gardens. All participants will take home a wire compost bin and composting guide and will have the chance to win some great door prizes. Classes are free, but space is limited. Registrations are requested and can be made by calling Pete Pessor at County Recycling Coordinator at 704-920-2700. 
3280 or just email um, PA Pastor at CabarrasCounty.us. And I tell you, Pete does a great job. Mm. I mean, there's great information. Yeah. This is a whole lot more that you can compost that I didn't really realize. Right. Plus, he's just an entertaining fellow. That's right. <laughs> And they always fill up, so oh, yes, you definitely do. want to get a jump on that now. Right. Um, well, it is now winter park season, mm -hmm. which means that now through February 28th, Franklin's Park, North Cabarrus Park, and Camp Tam Spencer Park will be open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., and on Saturdays from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m., so as the hours, the days get shorter right. and it gets darker sooner. The parks will be um, closing up a little sooner in the day now. Also, the paddle boat and the paddle boats in the miniature golf at Franklin's Park also have been put away and closed um, until the spring of 2011. So for more information on activities at the park or for park hours, just visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks or call 704-920-3350. Now, again, if you want to learn how to, you know, if you get lost, kind of find your way back um, in the woods, well, you can join us for an orienteering class. That's November the 13th from 1 to 2 p.m., and that's at Camp Spencer Park. Instructors will show you how to use a compass and a topographical map uh, to kind of, you know, find your way back. Mm -hmm. Now, the class is open to ages 12 and up, and the cost is only $2. Uh, Pre-registration is requested by November the 11th. For more information, just call 704-920-3350 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Type in the keyword orienteering. Right. And you can uh, find your way right back. Wonderful. There you go. Well, I do love this time of year as we're going into the holiday season because there are so many things to do. Um, oh, yeah. So many things to make and to bake, and um, it's just, it's a fun time of year. Well, if you've ever made, tried to make a gingerbread house like I have, they never seem to work, at least for me, they never seem to work out quite well. Mine are always just you know, flat. No. The roof <laughs> falls in, or you know, they don't stay together. Something always happens. So if you're one of those people like me that would really love to learn the true techniques uh, for uh, a wonderful gingerbread house, you might want to take advantage have this really cool workshop that's hosted by the City of Kannapolis Parks and Recreation. It's in conjunction with the Sweet Pickle Bakery and Delicatessen. On Saturday, November 20th, from 10 a.m. until noon, Sweet Pickle, ba Sweet Pickle Bakery, which is located at 930 Floyd Street in Kannapolis, is going to have a gingerbread house workshop for people of all ages. So you can come out and build your gingerbread house for fun, or um, you can even enter the creation that you make in a gingerbread house contest. That's now cool. the bakery is going to be providing fresh baked homemade gingerbread, icing mm. made from scratch, and all the supplies required for your gingerbread house. So they're going to do all the hard work and then they're going to show you how to put it together That's so cool. that it stays together, which is awesome. <laughs> so if you'd like to attend, um, please pre-register for this workshop by November 16th by calling Kannapolis Parks and Recreation at 704-920-4343. Now, in conjunction with that, the Gingerbread House Contest is part of a Kannapolis Christmas and prizes will be awarded for Gingerbread Houses by age group. Applications for the Gingerbread House uh, Contest can be obtained at Kannapolis Parks and Recreation. Uh, you can stop by their office at 700 West C Street in Kannapolis or online at KannapolisChristmas.com. Deadline to enter the Gingerbread House Contest is November 16th. For more information, visit KannapolisChristmas.com or con contact Kannapolis Parks and Recreation at 704-920-4343. Now, the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Mount Pleasant is hosting a continental breakfast and conversation, you know, so you can get up with your neighbors and, and talk. And that's going to be on November the 17th at 8.30 p.m. And this... Uh... <laughs> now, I know I get up late, <laughs> but breakfast at 8.30... P.M.? That's a little late. I think that might be A.M. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I cook breakfast for dinner, though, which is really well, you, good. Yeah, I guess you so. could be. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, this holiday-themed event is a chance to get out and celebrate the season with some of your neighbors who get up late, too. Okay, the Mount Pleasant <laughs> Senior Center is located at 8615 Park Road in Mount Pleasant. 
Make sure your, your reservations are by noon on Tuesday, November the 16th. For more information, call 704-436-8034 or just stop by the Senior Center. And I, I do believe that is 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m. I think that's right for the okay. breakfast. <laughs> My son gets up about that time when, you know. <laughs> All right, well, with all the delicious food temptations of the holiday season, um, it really can wreak some havoc on your diet. So if you're looking for some great recipes for maybe you're going to a Christmas party or a, a potluck event, you want to bring something really special, but you also want to watch your waistline this time of year, um, then there's a wonderful healthy holiday cooking presentation. It's by Gina Guthrie of Boca Felice Catering, and she is going to demonstrate tips and techniques techniques for healthier ways of pre preparing dishes for the holiday season and that's going to be at the Kannapolis branch of the, uh, the Cabarrus County Public Library on November 18th at 5 p.m. Now Gina's programs are known to be um, informative, high oh, energy. Her food is delicious. Yes, absolutely. Um, I just, I, I really, I always enjoy her presentations. Um, you will learn a lot and come away inspired um, to try something new. So, and if that's not enough, you also get to try the samples too which the food is just heavenly so um, so bring your appetite join us for more information stop by the Kannapolis Library branch or call the library at 704-920-1180 or you can log on to kamiriscounty.us slash library now as you make plans for your Thanksgiving dinner that's coming up remember the Piedmont Farmers Market they're going to have a special Thanksgiving market on Monday November the 22nd from 3 p.m. until dark that's at 6960 Robinson Church Road in Harrisburg for more information, just visit the PiedmontFarmersMarket.com or you can just pick up that phone, call 704-706-8062 and they'll help you right out. Great. Well, the holiday season is approaching us, as you're already hearing, and um, historic downtown Concord is filled with events for the entire family. On Thursdays, now through December 23rd, with the exception of Thanksgiving Day, um, many historic downtown Concord merchants are going to be open late till 8. So on um, Thursdays, uh, merchants will be open until 8 p.m. So uh, a convenient way to do your holiday shopping. Um, browse through all the wonderful shops downtown Concord. Um, really some really unique gift items that you right. won't find anywhere else. Um, plus there's a lot of the art galleries there as well, right. um, which offer some really unique gift items. So that's a really cool place to maybe check off your Christmas list. Sounds great. Now the Concord annual Christmas tree lighting and fireworks will take place, and that's going to be on Friday, November the 19th, with children activities and a trolley and carriage rides starting about 5.30 p.m. Family entertainment is at 6 p.m., and that's followed by the tree lighting at 6.30 p.m. And guess what? Then we have fireworks at 7. <laughs> hey, let's cap it all off. The events will take place at Market and Cabarrus Avenue West, right across from the parking deck. So more information on Concord's holiday activities can be found at www.ci.concord.com nc.us or you can just pick up that phone and call 704-920-5215. And in conjunction with that, same night we have the Art Walk in oh. downtown Concord. So um, the November Art Walk is going to be held November 19th from 6 until 9 p.m. and that's in conjunction with the tree lighting. So um, come out to the tree lighting then uh, walk a block over and explore all the downtown storefronts and stop by the galleries at Cabarrus Arts Council in the um, historic courthouse for the Black White Easy Red um, exhibition plus the That's shop really nice. Seagrave for all the pottery um, maps showing each location where all the artwork will be displayed throughout downtown Concord will be available for download by Friday November 12th. You also can stay late for a 9 p.m. Viewing, viewing of the film Tearing Down the Tent with local producer director Michael Knox. That's going to be at the Davis Theater. Again, that's at the Arts Council upstairs at the Historic Courthouse. The Davis Theater is at 65 Union Street South. For more information on the film viewing, call 704-920-2753. For more information about the Art Walk or the Cabarrus Arts Council Galleries or other Arts Council activities, just call 704-920-2787 or visit CabarrusArtsCouncil.org. Well, you know the holiday season is coming in full blast when the Christmas parade's coming yes. up. And okay, and the Concord Christmas parade is going to take place on Saturday, November the 20th, 
2.30 p.m. That's going to Union Street. For more information on the parade, just call 704-932-3808 or just visit CabarrasEvents.org. And it's always, we're always there. We always have a great uh, yeah. time and it's a, it's a beautiful parade. It, it is. And it's a really long parade route too. Church oh, Street know. all the way down through Union Street and downtown Concord. Lots um, of opportunities and lots of places to sit. Wonderful. Plus there's a lot of parties going on all around. The place. <laughs> That's all right. It is festive. Well, um, if you want to make sure you get your flu shot this year, um, so many good reasons to get your flu shot. Um, of course, if you're in um, the risk age uh, categories, then definitely that is a must. But really everyone um, is encouraged to get the flu shot this year. The Cabarrus Health Alliance is providing flu shots daily to anyone six months of age or older at the Cabarrus County Human Services Building that's at 1307 South Cannon Boulevard in Kannapolis. Interested individuals are asked to call the Health Alliance at 704-920-1205 to schedule an appointment. Now the flu shots are offered Mondays and Thursdays from 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. and Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Fridays from 8 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. The cost for the flu vaccine is $28. Now this year's vaccines also are including protections against the H1N1 and two C seasonal flu strains uh, and both the flu shot and the flu mist are available. So this this is taking care of oh, all nice. the different strains that um, are most likely going to be out there right. this year. Now a new high dose flu vaccine specially designed for people over the age of 65 to improve their immune response also is available at a cost of $50. Cabarrus Health Alliance will file Medicare Part B, Medicaid, uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Cigna, and WellPath. So be sure to bring your insurance cards with you. For more information, just call the Cabarrus Health Alliance information line at 704-920-1213 or visit CabarrusHealth.org. Now, the Cabarrus County governmental offices, including all the library branches, the Cabarrus County Senior Center, the Department of Social Services, the County Landfill, and the County Governmental Center, will all be closed on Thursday, November the 11th, in observance of Veterans Day. Uh, we've had a lot of information on today's show. I mean, there's a, you know, talking about all the holiday stuff mm. coming up, giving people a little heads up on what's coming yes. up. So if you miss something, all you got to do is go to our web address, which is cabarruscounty.us. The A through Z search category, you can pretty much find anything. If you have any issues, just email us at channel22, cabarruscounty.us. And of course, one of the best ways to find everything that you're looking for is to sign up for our email newsletter. It's really easy. You can do that by going to our website, cabarruscounty.us. Click the Join Our Mailing List link at the top left of any page. Type in your email address, and you will start receiving um, each week a list of all the events going on right. in Cabarrus County, everything we talk about on the show. There's also lots of times um, other pieces of information of right. value too. So um, sign up for that today. And if you get it and enjoy it, please do forward that to a friend. And if you have family or friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, you can just go to our web address, which is cabarruscounty.us. Right there on the home page, you'll see a little Channel 22 icon or YouTube icon. Click on that. You can see all the different programs we do here on Channel 22 and keep up and kind of watch it on demand. So whenever you right. want to. So I tell you, you got to come on out here to the uh, Senior Center here in Concord. Check out the Visual Arts and Intergenerational Art Show. It's really nice. It's kind of nice to see all the talent that we have here in Cabarrus County. And, uh, and I'm really, that Gone with the Wind thing is really cool. It, <laughs> I really it, like that. It is cool. And for all of our local veterans out there, um, we do want to say a oh, special absolutely. thank you uh, for your service, for all the families who also are um, supporting the veterans, um, those right. that um, are currently serving and those that have served in the past. Um, we do thank you and um, honor you all on this upcoming Veterans Day. Absolutely. And until next week, you have a great one. <laughs>